This autonomous vessel is Minion. This platform costs roughly $300,000. The team is composed of 15 to 20 students and three advisors, and we've been working on this for four years. We participate in the Maritime Robot X Challenge, which is sponsored by the Office of Naval Research and the AAVSI Foundation, which stands for the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. This is the brains of the entire robot housed inside a Pelican Air 1605. Inside the case, we have two independent computers stacked on top of each other, as well as all of our power distribution and health management systems. One of the uses of an autonomous vehicle is for security and defense operations. So it can be in the port and observing other vessels coming in and out, or it could be at sea and doing reconnaissance. These are our motor controllers. They drive the motors that provide propulsion to our boat. We develop those ourselves. So the way we use Pelican cases is that we actually enclose our electronics and sensitive equipment to keep them watertight and water safe. And this is our safety system. This system allows us to manually take control of the boat and override the autonomy if anything ever goes wrong. The Minion platform can operate in 25 knot winds and 15 foot seas. It's actually very hard to create a box that's watertight, but Pelican solves that for us. The great thing about working with these cases is it's not just an encased system that we don't have access to. We can actually open it, access the equipment, inspect it, and modify it if needed. This is our Velodyne 16 beam LiDAR. We have three of them on the boat here, and what they do is they overlap with the information we receive from our Velodyne 32 beam LiDAR to give us a denser object field around the boat. The Maritime Robot X Challenge seeks to bring students in, teach them capabilities that they will use in industry, things from computer science, autonomy, and sensing that they can use for their careers. We finished fourth in the 2016 competition. This year, we've addressed the challenges and issues that we had, and we think we've positioned ourselves to take that trophy home.